So today I really want to talk about exploding PMDs. Your e-scooters, your e-bikes, and you could actually factor in power banks as well. All right. Now, before you guys label me as that person who has never had something like this happen to me before, I'm just gonna very quickly uh, flash a picture of my GoPad ERS750 that went up in flames. Uh, this was probably about like uh, maybe like four years ago. Now let me just share with you that particular experience. Now this GoPad ERS750 um, was uh, actually working very very well and um, what actually happened was I had a crash uh, well, it wasn't a very severe crash, it was just a very light crash. So one day, uh, but it was still working fine. So one day I decided to obviously charge it. So I was charging it, and then all of a sudden, say within like five minutes or so, the thing started smoking up. So again, if you look at the picture, um, you can see right in the middle where the lithium cells were, uh, it started smoking in the middle, and immediately I reacted. I grabbed the scooter, I threw it onto the balcony and I used the fire extinguisher to put out the flame. Of course, you know, it went up in smoke and everything. But just sharing with you uh, through experience, these things rarely ever happen because I've owned many of such electrical um, devices before in the past. And I can confidently say that most of the time when these things do happen, it actually belongs to one of the following. So let's begin. So starting with my GoPad that actually went up in flames. I had a crash. What I should have done was to actually uh, inspect it, perhaps maybe open up and see if there's any uh, physical damage to the battery pack. I mean, back in the day, um, I'm not entirely sure how the cells were constructed or how it was housed within the deck of the GoPad. Um, there's a, a high possibility that the, the cells were punctured. And to give you an example, especially if you are familiar with the way electricity conducts in battery cells, the impact could have weakened a joint because most of, it, most of your lithium ion packs uh, made out of maybe one of these cells or flat pack lithium ion cells so they could be in series and connected in parallel um, well anyway let's not get into details any if I have another battery what will happen is that if the joint is compromised and if I'm going to be charging this cell any loose soldering here on the top or at the bottom will result in a very very hot joint and of course, if you're not, if it's not vented properly, what will essentially happen is that heat will be generated here, and then of course you will get a short circuit, and then you this whole entire thing will just go up in flames. That's if you have a battery pack that's uh, connected either in series or in parallel, and then broken joint, and then boom, a short circuit actually happens. And I actually think that that was what happened with my goal pad. Now. On to the next point. Always buy your e-scooter or your PMD from a reputable source. Why? Now these lithium-ion cells, you have many many brands in the market and of course you will find manufacturers trying to reduce their costs by trying by obviously using cells of an inferior quality. So when that actually happens, again it compromises the safety of the battery pack. Now I'm not saying that um, all reputable brands will have very well construct, uh, constructed battery packs. I'm just saying that the chances of the PMD going up in flames will be mitigated if you have a brand that stands behind their product. So that's what I will recommend if you were to get a PMD or if you were to buy an external battery pack, make sure that it comes from a reliable source. And number three, charges. Look, right now, my Duotron's right behind me. It's charging. You can see here, um, this is the power brick that's charging the battery pack. Now, if you look, if you look closely, 
you would see that there's a rating here that says uh, 96 volts. Now, every single scooter has a different power rating for the, uh, for the battery pack. So say for example, if you have three different e-scooters, if you're gonna pick up a charger that say 26 volts and you're gonna maybe jam it into something that is rated at say 18 volts then of course you're gonna have a overcharging problem so you have to be very careful whenever you charge your batteries chargers goes to the correct battery that is rated for you wouldn't want to just randomly pick up a charger now I think this video is to just um, share what I really think about um, exploding PMDs. And number four, I think um, many people have highlighted the fact that you should not be leaving the charging unattended. Well, truth be told, I leave mine unattended. Why? Simply because I think that, um, I mean, especially if you read read up online of course it's recommended that you don't leave it unattended you know you should always uh, be keeping an eye out eye out especially when you're charging such devices but honestly we have way too many devices thousands and not millions and millions you know of devices right that depend on all these cells to charge and I would say that if you're gonna be getting it from a reputable source it each, each individual component is already protected or I would, there'll be safeguards you know already built into the whole entire system to make sure that things don't actually blow up in your face let me give you the example of my battery pack it's external so in the event of a crash I would be able to physically inspect it I'll open it up I will take a look at it to see if there's any punctures is the battery pack compromised and there are really two single point of failures right Battery or charger, two things. So again, let's talk about external battery packs. When we talk about buying an external battery pack from a, from a trusted supplier, there are several considerations. Why? If this builder is not familiar with some form of uh, soldering, or rather they have a pretty shabby set of soldering skills, Imagine a battery like this. We put two wires here and we put another wire here. So if these two wires touch, obviously you would see a spark. Common sense. That's the reason why this is the positive and this is the negative. And that's the reason why they are on the opposite end. Both ends really isn't supposed to touch. And if you have all these battery cells, you know, wired in series, you know, generating a very huge current, you would then obviously size an appropriate thickness <clears throat> of uh, wire to bring the current, you know, to controller, to power your e-scooter. But of course, you know, there are some builders, they built an entire battery pack and for the same gauge of wire that they would use for a single cell like this, they would use it for the entire battery pack. What's gonna happen? The amount of current that's going to be generated through that huge battery pack it's just going to be way too strong or way too high for that thickness of wire and again that results in a short circuit and a fire as well so again this is something that everyone needs to be aware of so what are my thoughts on PMDs going up in flames well there are two ways to look at it Firstly, I think that what you read online um, is over sensationalized, I think. But if you are watching this video and if you happen to own one of such vehicles, I think there are several things to look out for. If you have a crash, inspect the battery pack. Make sure the charger is rated for the battery pack. Um, number two, Again, make sure you buy it from, uh, buy the, your PMV from a reputable supplier. If it's too cheap, then it's too good to be true. You know, it never, never is. If it's like a hundred bucks for a Dualtron, come on. I mean, you can buy it, but I'm pretty sure it will go out in flames. So really, that's my point. So if you own 
one of such vehicles, I think the responsibility is on you, the onus is on you to make sure that these things, these are the things that you should look out for. In the event of a crash, the integrity of the battery pack is really on you to make sure that yes, it can be used, else, if there's a short circuit, and it may very well be a short circuit whenever if you have a crash. And I think it's so easy to have a short circuit, especially if the impact is gonna be hard enough. Remember, positive, negative. For these two to touch in the event of an impact is very, very high. So can I guarantee that um, if, I, if you buy a PMD from a reputable source, it would never go out in flames? Sure, there are no such guarantees. But me being the, the tech gadget freak that I am, I've never had something go up in flames in front of me before except for my gold pad, which I should have exercised some due diligence on my part to actually inspect the battery pack, you know, given that I crashed on the unit, but I didn't. I took it for granted. So again, the same thing with battery packs. If you puncture it, it will go up in flames. You know, if you see, if you go on YouTube, the lithium ion packs on your iPhones and your Samsung smartphone, the flat pack, if you take a pen knife and if you were to just cut down on it, it goes up in flames. It's because you actually create an ex a short circuit in the whole pack and it just goes up in flames. So, I mean, what I'm saying is that there is no 100% guarantee, but I really hope that you know with this video that some awareness can be created for everyone out there who's using such devices because i i i definitely want everyone to be using these devices safely so that you know we will read lesser of such incidents actually happening in singapore and elsewhere around the world so that's all i have for you today if you find the information useful give me a thumbs up if you don't quite agree with what I said about PMDs going up in flames, please feel free to share with me in the comment box below. I would love to hear what you have to say about, you know, about exploding e-scooters or exploding e-bikes. And until next time, ride safe and take care. Bye. Hey. Uh. So yeah, uh, that basically concludes the...